There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world What's up, Divas and Divas? So it's your girl, April. So this is going to be like a tutorial slash review slash, you know, let's just get it popping. So this is the second or the third time. I think it's like the third time for me working with this company, which is Unice or Unice. And they did send me a frontal this time, and I made it on a different cap this time. This is the deluxe weed wig cap it's just like um, a netted cap I'm pretty sure you guys seen this it has the, the elastic right here which is supposed to be on the inside but I noticed that a lot of people when they make this they put this on the outside these are the adjustable straps they are supposed to be on the inside why would you want them on the outside um, and it has the ear tabs and stuff like that and all that good stuff so I did sew some combs in it and I did use an elastic band um, the reason why I use this cap is because I wanted to try something different because I wasn't really like a huge fan of the last one that I made which was on a dome cap okay and it was an extra large dome cap so I wasn't really like a huge fan of it and it was very big so then the other one that I made the other day was on a dome cap but it was rather smaller so it fit like the wig the lace front fit really good like super duper good as far as the hair goes um it is body weight I think it was body weight here but so I bleached the closure and let me tell you not excuse me the closure the frontal you ever notice like I can always tell when there is like listen let me tell you something to me this is how I figured it out like to me this is just my opinion and I could be wrong but I noticed that when a frontal like if you see like the hair lifting really quick in the frontal beware because I don't think that hair is going to break off in the frontal that's just what I noticed because like when every frontal that I've had whatever frontal I've had and the hair lifts really quick on the frontal then the hair is going to shed off that frontal like nobody's business and that's what this has been doing to me hmm, it's kind of brassy and it's kind of the seems like the hairs are weak to me which is really not like the greatest thing in the world. So anyway, I did pre-tweeze the cap, uh, the frontal, um, in the unit. I'm just like very leery of this one because I hope to God that it doesn't shed because I would hate for that to happen. And you know, like this is my work that I've done and like, I don't know. Alright guys, so let's get into this styling of this wig. The hair is actually nice. The, just, the problem that I had was it was shedding um, from the frontal, which really was a drag, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, I do think that, you know, some frontals are really better than others, and I did notice that in just about a lot of the wigs that I've made over the past years. But for the most part, the hair is really soft, and they do actually have some nice hair. So this right here that I just put on my hair, this little yellow stick, is a wax stick, and it just helps the flyaways, you know you can actually use it just to style the hair or just maintain the flyaways and I love them you can pick them up at any type of local beauty supply store now when I say beauty supply store I don't know about Sally's okay like I don't really con I don't really think that Sally's is like a beauty supply store not for us of uh, african-american women anyway so I like the local hood beauty supply store where you can get hair bleach hair dye mousse hairspray jewelry and makeup products okay you probably even could pick up some mannequin heads on the low low but anyway so I decided I'm gonna do this as a middle part because you know I really don't do that many middle parts um it has a lot to do with my long head so I really tried to stray away from them and it also depends on what type of hairstyle I'm going to be rocking so I thought that this would be really cute in a middle part so what I'm doing right here with the barrel curler is I'm just smoothing out the edges I could have used the hot comb but I don't really like to put it too close to my face because the barrel of the hot comb or actually the comb in general is kind of big so to alleviate any type of forehead burns like I almost burnt myself just now a girl leaves that alone I'm just gonna trim away a little bit of the excess lace that I have going on here and I did pre pluck the unit um, I didn't get carried away thank you Jesus but I did pre pluck it the hairline was okay when I did receive it but you know you want to make it look as natural as possible and you guys know I was trying to figure out which wig cap to use so I do like the netted ones which are the deluxe adjustable strap net wig caps that you can buy I love those I used to use those like 
way before I would use like the dome caps but then I started seeing everybody using the dome caps so I thought hey let me give this a try to you know join the bandwagon but so I decided to go back into the netted caps along with that I also do use the dome caps but there's only certain ones that you can use if you want to use a frontal because some of them are a little bit too big and you want it to fit perfect so I do prefer certain ones um actually I prefer the dream collection um, dome caps for making lace frontal wigs and the dream adjustable deluxe wig caps for making lace frontals or wigs but if I'm just doing like a closure then I'll definitely get like the Q fit I think it's either Q or two fit those dome caps are really good but not for making on lace frontals they just are a little bit too big so I mean if you want to see a video on the dome caps that I prefer and what is good and it's not good you can definitely leave your comments below and I have no problem doing that because I have enough dome caps here where I can show you guys what's good and what's really not that great and what's good for what and what's good for what but you know the normal right here I'm just going to take my favorite toothbrush you know my sculpting brush and just make me a little bit of baby hairs on this unit you're really not going to see them that much um I do use the mousse to just like gel them down a little bit or not gel them down but paste them down or apply them down or whatever you want to call it and I have to have this green brush like I do have other toothbrushes but this one is the best by far and then I'll also go in with my pump it up um super hold hairspray and I will spray that all on the hairline of the wig so not really the baby hairs but behind the baby hair so that way the wig will lay down and it won't move um and a little bit on the baby hairs but in the end I do like pull the baby hairs up so you know you do see me sculpting them down like right here but once they're dry I will paste them will unpaste them or unstick them I'll just pull them up because I really don't want them you know tacked down to my hairline I'd rather them just be there and kind of like able to fly with the wind or you know flap be wispy kind of like you know you know what I'm saying but yeah so that's what I do so I'm gonna go ahead and take my scarf and I'm just going to apply the scarf I'm not gonna use any heat to lay down the wig because it's gonna probably take me like 20 minutes to curl this hair and of course I'm not gonna show you guys the entire process of curling it because you guys will be sitting here like any day now so that is the reason why I'm not going to use any heat because by the time I finish curling and styling the hair the mousse and hairspray will have dried the wig will have been stuck down so I didn't have to burn myself or scar myself or anything like that but I don't really use the barrel curler anymore to adhere the wigs I just actually use my blow dryer which takes less time and it actually comes out a lot better versus using the curling barrel so I do prefer that if you're interested in seeing a video on that I do have one on my page which is me wearing the blue hair and that is the blow drying method how I do it but for the most part as you guys see I'm just gonna go ahead and take my favorite wand barrel which is from irresistible me you can get eight of these barrels in one meaning you're gonna get seven sizes well eight in one the there's only seven barrels and then you count the barrel holder or the you know the handle part okay but I love them their tools are the best they do have clip on here too but I'm not really a big fan of that but their styling tools OMG bomb so I always use this in like all of my videos you always see me with this little blue handle um, because I can change the barrel size date, which is amazing I don't have to have all these differences so this is the final look you guys I hope you guys liked it it was super easy I enjoyed it the hair came out nice as you guys can see these are the edges and so as you see here this is where I'm just going to be pulling up some of the baby hairs you know so that way they're not stuck to my hairline okay This is it you guys. This is the final look of this unit by Eunice Hair. Okay, it actually came out really nice. I'm very, very happy. Um, and it stopped shedding. So thank you Jesus because it stopped shedding. I'm really, really happy about that. As I always tell you guys, the hairspray, the mousse and hairspray, 
actually hold the wig on really tight so I just leave it like that and I'm good to go I could sleep in this and then wake up tomorrow and it'll still be on as long as I put a scarf around like you know you can't just sleep like this but um yeah like, like I said I think it's like the third time for me doing a video for them and it came out great it did come out really really great I like front tools now so because I'm so used to using them now and I'm found like my technique and like the caps there's two caps that I like to use so it works out well for me um but for the most part it did come out really good and cute I decided to do a middle part because I never do a middle part okay so yes I think it looks rather like natural there's really no baby hairs I just I did brush the baby hairs down but then you did see me like pull them up because I really didn't want them stuck to my head but for the most part she's rather cute she's cute I do like it cute 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 um I did a good job with pre tweezing it and even bleaching it even though you know I don't really like to do the bleaching thing too much but you know you want it to look as natural as possible so I would suggest that and starting off if you don't really like to do the bleach you feel uncomfortable start off for like a 20 and then you know gradually move it up if you need to do a redo it again then you could do that but you guys for the most part um I love you guys I hope you enjoyed this video I'll post all of the information below for where you can get this hair from and as always stay deep and deep delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up um let me know you love me share it with everybody I'll see you guys on a soon to come video